Hello friends, foes, slackers, internet surfers, rich and poor, and all those who enjoy our videos. Today we have a very hot and passionate episode because we will be ranking American politicians whom we know well, Donnie and Joe. Are you ready? Yeah, Barack. Always ready. Launch it, brother. I have a God-given talent to recognize people at first glance. I know who they really are. The first one we have is Nancy Pelosi. Warrior woman. Witch and crazy Nancy, that's what I call her. Look into her eyes, she's got no mind, just anger, revenge, and intrigue. Sick, feeble-minded woman, schizophrenic, she needs to be put in a hospital, not serving in government. Keep yourself in check, Donnie. Let's make this episode restrained. I know you have some anger towards some of the politicians on the list. No, I love everyone. I was getting along with them before I became president. Politics is a tough thing. Nowhere in the world is there as much lying and hypocrisy as there is in politics. I'm putting Nancy at the top. What the hell? She didn't do anything for the country except dirty political games. She was just hunting me down. For me, she's the bottom of the list. Okay, then I'll do it this way. I'll put her right in the middle so as not to offend either of you. I'll make compromises, otherwise we'll tear each other apart here. Do as you please. I don't give a shit. She's still crazy Nancy anyway. Next up, we have Kevin McCarthy. He's a good guy serving his country. I'm glad he's the speaker now. I always say he sometimes makes mistakes, but always finds the right way in the end. I put him at the very top. In my opinion, he is a moderate right winger, but he sold his ass to the far right radicals and MAGA Republicans. What right wing radical is he? There are no right wing radicals anymore. It's just that the left has gone too far to the left. We are all moderate right wingers. You are simply lying and fantasizing like a madman. The MAGA Republicans are those who want to make America great again. What's wrong with that? Hurry up. Where are we putting him? We still have many people to rank. At the very top. For me, he is on the C tier. All right, then. I'll put him on the A tier. Next up is DeSantis. Ha ha. I know Trump. You don't like him. He's a good guy, seriously, but he wouldn't have won Florida without me. I just want him to not divide the Republican Party and move towards running for president. He could be president in 2028. After me, he's still young. He is too far right wing for me. His actions towards the rights of LGBT individuals and passing laws against women's rights bothers me. Yeah, he's dragging our country back to the past. We need to move forward and respect all of our citizens. All right, enough with the lofty ideals. Nobody is against LGBTQ plus people or women. It's you who have sold out to cultural Marxists and are pitting our population against each other, making some oppressed and others oppressors. Donald, stop talking nonsense. Where do we rank him? You better say it. For me, he is at the bottom. For me, he's at the very top. Okay, I'll put him on A tier. He's not the bottom for me. There's something in him that reminds me of moderate Republicans. All right, next we have Chuck Schumer. Fuck off. He's pure evil to the core. A rat that feeds on the blood of our people. He'll sell his soul for power. You can only imagine what he wants to turn our country into. He is the most honest and hardworking politician I have ever seen in my life. He has dedicated himself completely to serving America. And he has excellent leadership abilities. If it weren't for him, we wouldn't be the America we are today. Are you referring to the underdeveloped third world country that these lying liberals turned our country into? He has done a lot for the citizens, especially the poor, and helped pass numerous laws that protect their rights. This is a real madhouse. From the great America, where a whole family could live on one salary, they've turned it into a shelter for the homeless, and you're proud of it? You're just rats who came to a rich country and squander its wealth while stealing our culture with fake promises. Look at our streets now compared to what they were like in the 50s. I put this scumbag at the very bottom. He's at the very top for me. Say what you want, Trump, but you don't understand poor Americans, minority rights, and true freedom. Okay, I'll put him in the middle on the B tier. I'm making a compromise so that both of you can understand, hopefully. Next up is Ted Cruz. Huh, I remember when Trump used to call him Lion Ted. He is a great speaker. He will achieve more someday. Trump was right. He is definitely Lion Ted. He does what the corporations behind him tell him to do. For me, he's the absolute bottom. He's one of the strong voices of conservative values in America, even if corporations stand behind him. And what stands behind you? Only my own money stands behind me while you're all sellout politicians. The difference between you and Ted Cruz is that you are backed by corporations who sold out to China and globalism, while he is supported by our own American companies who want America to prosper with them. Okay, guys, I'll put it in the middle. You can see how our views differ from each other, how our society is divided into two fronts. No matter how different we are, let's learn to compromise. All right, let's not tire our viewers and continue in the next video. Subscribe to the channel and like the video so you don't miss our next one.